beauty ads. We have all seen them on television, on the internet, and in numerous situations, like, it's hard not to notice any of these, but the point is, there seems to be some desperation uh, that they seek. See, these ads, like typically anything else, they seek to sell a certain product, or they seek to sell a certain service, or something like that. The question is, do you think those ads are necessarily aimed at your seeking a certain beauty? Because the question simply is, why would you seek more beauty than you currently have? Because this is a great question. Is it that you want more attention than you have? Well, if this would be an answer, if you seek more attention than you have, the question is, what, you are, current, what are you currently doing to receive the attention that you currently have because a lot of people simply live in between four walls they don't leave their homes much or even if they do they simply prefer staying um, you know stuck with their nose in their phones or doing literally anything that keeps them distracted distraction won't bring you much attention in life or it can actually bring you but not the right attention because some people who see that you are distracted, well, they can easily take advantage of you while selling you certain cutesy stories and making you feel that you are serving the greater interest of some people. So, the point with what I see behind these so-called beauty ads. See, everything in this world is, in a certain way, perfection. You have been programmed through religion, through parenting, well, bad parenting, and all sorts of misfortunes in your life that apparently seem to um, repeat a certain structure that you've heard, right? They seem to support this idea that you're not good enough. And this can hurt women a lot because, well, they want to be loved because, well, we are all uh, social beings and we require attention. And obviously, women also require attention. Since they are more in tune with emotion, they suffer far more if they are not given the right attention. But again, since no one teaches you in school or in whatever you are attempting in this society, what is it really needed that you need to have or to show in a relationship or something like that? Because so many people, so many fake gurus, don't they all talk about relationships and having friends? Even video games, even uh, social media, they all speak about having friends, right? You're having online friends, but are they really your friends? Are you really spending time with them, right? I mean, they don't ask for any standard in the first place, so it's all giving you the fake impression that life is very simple. But when it comes to dating someone, it's all looking like a complicated mess, right? I see that behind these ads, there is this exploitation that people, you know, fear losing their so-called beauty and they want to enjoy more of it, right? Or they want to prolong it. Even if you do, though, you live in a sick society who's been living based off of your insecurities and at the same time who's been doing nothing else than simply um, lie to you ever since you were born. So, yet another advertisement. It may not necessarily be entirely a lie, but you've been lied to ever since you were born, so what would make you feel that suddenly this sick society actually has a cure for you, right? Are there any side effects? Are there any other things that they would want you something? Because ultimately they said at Davos that by 2030 you will have nothing and be fully happy. So probably in some time these beauty products won't even be available on your market because, well, apparently things are changing and some people are highly interested in, you know, demolishing everything that is you know, relation-based. Even people aren't interested anymore in having families because there seems to be this psychological warfare about, you know, gender ideologies and the such, right? Men simply don't want to take into account women anymore and it's like women simply have all sorts of silly ideas about men and it's like ultimately no one knows exactly how to date anymore or, you know, what's it like to be when you actually date someone because dating apps, right? You date with some people, but it's like you're not using your skill anymore. It's like a machine is doing things for you, but that machine doesn't even know what interests you entirely. But, well, all of these are just, uh, you know, variables of a society. 
So the point is, why would you trust something when you already have something? A lot of people who use beauty products, they kind of hide the fact that they have side effects and at the same time, well, they kind of are crippling your beauty in a certain way. See, when you have to use a mask in a way, you have to maintain a huge effort because the mask may fall sooner or later, even a beauty mask, right? There can happen certain things and, well, it may slightly fall and if people see you're no longer what you are, well, to a lot of people, that's gonna be a huge blow. See, there is another point. Why would you want more attention in life if you are nothing but a mess? See, a lot of people are a mess psychologically and emotionally. This is not necessarily something bad, but the problem is, when you're a mess, you're gonna draw uh, similar people in your life, and that's gonna only make a greater mess. That's not gonna serve either you, well, it's not gonna serve them either. So, well, what would the point be? Everything in this sick society is consumer-based. You have to simply consume it. You have to understand that money will be more and more scarce. Yes, they want, you know, cybernetic money and the such. Still, it's gonna be scarce because it doesn't matter, right? That money can easily be manipulated. Someone can instantly have a billion dollars. Someone can lose it all. It's just a press of a button. But don't think that with cyber money you will have more time, uh, you will have more money for consumerism. In order to keep you under someone else's restraint, you have to be working in a job, just over broke. Consumerism is all about having little money and a lot of choices, because ultimately, through hundreds of generations of people, your forefathers have been programmed that they are never going to be good enough, right? It's never gonna matter what happens, what you do, because ultimately your life will end and you will be severely judged by a stupid god that we also invented. But a lot of people believe this as if it is their own existence, as if it is their, you know, it, as if it is greater than their life itself. But ultimately you kind of need something like this, because else the ignorance would have started doing all sorts of illegal aspects. They would have killed one another without any remorse, because, well, that's what ignorance ultimately leads to total entropy. Now we are going towards a total entropy because as you can see, economy is falling down, there seems to be wars everywhere, no one's trusting governments and the such, and at the same time corporations seem to be stretching for more and more control, more or less. So it doesn't even matter, all these are just products that you now see, probably at a certain time, you know, it won't even matter, like, you see a lot of women, even at old age, you know, they're 60, 70, 80, they still use beauty products. It's like, why are you simply programming yourself to do something that, you know, you're just having a silly expectation that using that product will change your life. That's the whole idea of consumerism and commercials. They're selling you a story, right? Because that story, once you accept it, you live in a certain emotion. Basically, that's uh, you know, commerciality or whatever you call it, right? They're selling you a story, you react to it and you accept it. The more you think about it, well, you may realize the lie, but, well, you've taken the bait, now it's hard to accept the truth, so you simply have to build more and more into the lie and into the so-called pseudo-emotion that you will actually have a change of life, right? Just because you use beauty products, it doesn't mean that, you know, Prince Charming will pop into your life, right? Or the right girl will come into your life or whomever you may be seeking. Because we live in a sick society. You've been lied to ever since you were young. So the point is, do you think the lies will have changed right now? Do you think those don't have any side effects? And at the same time, if you don't know much about who you are, how you function emotionally and psychologically, do you think you will attract better people in life just because now you look slightly better? Now, this being said, hopefully this video raised a bit of awareness. You are appreciated. Take care. And this being said, Ferenc board signing out.